Darren Keepers has been blind since he was five years old, but this hasn't stopped him from wanting to participate in America's pastime. In 2018, Keepers and his friend Colby Haney heard about Beat Baseball, a variation of baseball intended for visually impaired individuals. Keepers wanted to play, but he ran into a roadblock. There were no official teams in Southern California. Determined to play, Keepers saw only one solution, to create a league of his own. I really wanted to play this sport, and the sport didn't really exist in SoCal. So I got my friend Colby, and we decided to just create our own. Uh, he did most of the legwork. He got in touch with within the blind community, reaching out to people to play, trying to find field space, get people organized. And I just pretty much showed up first practice, and and he did got everyone else there. Beep baseball is quite different to baseball. The balls have speakers in them so that the players can hear it beep when they hit and field. Batters get four strikes at the plate instead of three. And on defense, all players are blindfolded and they must locate the ball before the batter reaches the base to get an out. For safety reasons, there is no throwing the ball or running the bases. It is necessary that the team also has sighted volunteers that can help with pitching, catching, and coaching. Many players need help learning how to do things like swinging a bat for the first time. It's, it's hard to tell somebody um, that's completely blind and, and has been blind their whole life uh, how to swing a bat. So th they're up to learning, you know. They don't know that their hips are involved and it's not just arms and like hitting a piñata. For some players, getting their first hit is something they will always remember. You know, each game, each time that we practice is, is a good memory, but, you know, I guess it would be when I got my first hit. <laughs> Yeah, I remember that. While baseball is the ultimate hand-eye coordination sport, these visually impaired athletes are revolutionizing the way the game is being played. The Panthers hope that more volunteers and players join the league so they can discover abilities that they never knew they had before. We had a player who never played baseball before hit the ball and he said, I felt free, I felt liberated. So it's just great getting to give people the opportunity to experience things that aren't normally accessible to them. In that practice, I put a blindfold on to get a feel for the game. And let's just say, it's as hard as it looks. With J307 News, I'm Robbie Aronson.